now the international community and the, even the national level, the people wants to see the impacts of uh, the adaptation initiatives. And so that, for that purpose, monitoring and evaluation is a very, very, has a very, very important role to track how the adaptation is contributing towards development and then development is contributing towards proper adaptation. I think there should be a need to have a, to have a common framework for the countries and especially for the southern countries as countries from the south, developing countries to agree on a certain framework that can help to track their adaptation as well as developmental agendas and how effectively they are contributing each other. I think as far as Pakistan is concerned, we damned, uh, can play a very important role because we don't have at the moment any national monitoring and evaluation systems and we are, we are, uh, we are working on that so that it can help uh, to further the process in Pakistan. For instance, yes, we have certain mo uh, uh, monitoring and evaluation performance that is called PC3. So what the TAM, uh, TAM can help that, it can further enrich that particular performer so that the maximum information could be, could be assessed and analyzed accordingly. I think we are one of the pioneers who are implementing LAPAs in Pakistan. So personally, I think that will really help to my work add to my work and that will be a value addition how to track our activities, the adaptation work at the district level, at the community level, so that we could embed the adaptation efforts with the development agenda. Now we are using on the SLM program, phase one, it's on at this phase one stage and we are just lesson learned from this uh, stage but on the second stage we are planning to this SLM phase two we are planning to make MND framework of using the thumbed, uh, the thumbed framework and also it will help us to do the baseline survey for the SLM P2 and also uh, agreeing with the government it will help us to uh, draw the MND framework of the national wide Agriculture Tracking adaptation and measuring development that is uh, tamed has a very good, uh, very, very uh, essential uh, attributes uh, in, in tracking uh, adaptation interventions effectiveness as well as uh, measuring or say uh, to, uh, to, to evaluate the effectiveness of development intervention, whether it complements to each other uh, to negate the adverse impacts of climate change in development as well as uh, people's uh, livelihood in uh, developing world. So here comes TAMD uh, which has two, uh, two tracks to do so, how, how institutional uh, climate risk management is working in, in a country context and how it is contributing to reducing vulnerability of uh, these climate vulnerable people, so uh, TAMD is very crucial in that in that particular area, and we have been doing uh, to develop a framework that is contextualized in the context of Nepal, so that uh, we can contribute to existing MNE system, national MNE system where development as well as adaptation MNE also existed in Nepal and how can we contribute from bottom up approach so that they uh, they they meet at one uh, one point of uh, one point and i think uh, the the system whole system from top to bottom or say bottom to top can be uh, easily tracked right now we are using time to research uh, and see what are the um, effectiveness of the development intervention that has b been uh, done in Nepal. We have selected a few and we intend to fit it in the government system and see what has development been done and what is still need to be done to make people climate resilient. So we are trying to adapt in the existing M&E system of the government and see whether the indicators fit in that we have uh, collected till now and the research uh, where it fit in and how we can see the country uh, attribution between, um, from the development work
towards climate resiliency. Yeah, in Kenya, if you look at the National Climate Change Action Plan for 2013 to 2017, which is our blueprint as far as work on climate change is concerned, um, you realize that uh, one of the stronger recommendations there was to pilot termed in one of the counties where work on climate change adaptation is ongoing. The fact that uh, we picked on that and piloted in Isiolo uh, is a very concrete example of how initiatives, uh, different initiatives can contribute to policy implementation and therefore if we get, I think by trying it out in Isiolo, we should be able to improve on it and help uh, roll it out in other areas that might find it appropriate. Uh, so that's how we are using it. We are piloting in Isiolo. Uh, of course, the adaptation consortium is now expanding to include four other counties, Wajia, Garissa, Kitui, and Makweni. And most of the, consor the consortium members have, in principle, accepted to use termed as a common M and D framework across those five counties. Having five counties pilot something, I think, should be able to yield robust results uh, that we can comfortably roll out in larger areas. Right now, a lot of money is being poured in our countries. Adaptation funds, mitigation, but we haven't measured the impact of that money in our countries. The main advantages of TAMD is that it monitors only, uh, it monitors and output impact and so we can know how adaptive measures have helped the community changing their life standard from one place to an, uh, from one level to another with reference to climate change.